Finding out World War II secrets often exposes shocking plans, and one such disclosed proposal involves a bold plot by the British Royal Air Force to set fire to Germany's Black Forest. This dense woodland, which covers 1,800 square miles and is essential to Germany's war efforts, was the target of Operation Razzle, an audacious incendiary attack. The Black Forest in southern Germany became a significant target for strategic bombing due to its extensive coverage of approximately 1,800 square miles. This dense woodland was not only a natural barrier, but also housed crucial military factories and supported Germany's wartime industries. Recognizing its strategic importance, the British Royal Air Force, or RAF, devised Operation Razzle in 1940, a daring mission aimed at setting fire to the forest using incendiary bombs. Operation Razzle employed innovative tactics for its time, RAF bombers dropped small cardboard strips saturated with phosphorus, a substance that ignites upon contact with air. Each bomber carried a substantial payload, allowing for the release of up to 250,000 of these incendiary strips, commonly referred to as incendiary leaves. The objective was to create widespread fires that would disrupt German military production and logistics. Despite the ambitious scale of Operation Razzle, the effectiveness of the incendiary technology used proved limited. The forest's dense canopy and the variability of weather conditions posed challenges to achieving widespread ignition and sustained fire propagation. As a result, the operation did not achieve its intended goal of significantly disrupting German war efforts through forest fires. Since World War II, advancements in incendiary technologies have greatly enhanced their precision and effectiveness in military operations. However, the historical attempt to target the Black Forest remains a poignant example of the complexities and challenges inherent in wartime strategic bombing. Today, the Black Forest stands as a testament to Germany's resilience and cultural heritage, continuing to thrive as a cherished natural landscape despite its wartime role as a strategic target. Since the conclusion of World War II, advancements in incendiary technologies have profoundly transformed their effectiveness and precision in military operations. Despite historical attempts during the war to disrupt German war efforts through forest fires, the Black Forest has persevered as an enduring symbol of natural beauty and cultural heritage for Germany. Its significance transcends its wartime strategic value, encompassing crucial roles in the environmental conservation and economic contributions to the region. Today, the Black Forest continues to hold a pivotal position in Germany's forestry industry and tourism sector. Its lush landscapes and scenic beauty attract visitors from across the globe, contributing significantly to the local economy. The forest resilient ecosystem, supported by ongoing conservation efforts, underscores its enduring importance, despite the challenges it faced during wartime. The legacy of Operation Razzle, the RAF's ambitious attempt to set fire to the Black Forest, serves as a poignant reminder of the complexities involved in wartime strategies. While the operation did not achieve its intended objectives, it highlights the lasting impact of military actions on both landscapes and societies. The Black Forest stands as a testament to Germany's resilience and ability to recover, maintaining its natural splendor and cultural significance in the face of historical adversities. The Black Forest, spanning approximately 1,800 square miles in southern Germany, houses military installations and is a significant national resource. During World War II, attempts were made to set fire to the forest using incendiary bombs, but these efforts were largely unsuccessful. Now, there is a proposal to revisit the idea of burning down the forest using more effective incendiary technology, particularly the M47 incendiary bomb. The M47 incendiary bomb weighs 72 pounds in total, with 40 pounds of napalm as its incendiary filler. Each bomb releases 669,000 BTUs of heat, 
including 1.3 pounds of white phosphorus in its igniter. To put this into perspective, a standard 20 pound propane tank used for barbecues contains 430,000 BTUs of heat. Despite the historical and strategic considerations, any decision regarding the use of incendiary bombs on the Black Forest would need to carefully weigh environmental, ethical and political implications. The forest remains a vital natural and economic asset for Germany, symbolizing both its cultural heritage and industrial contributions. The M47 incendiary bomb is significantly more powerful than a standard propane tank, releasing 55% more heat. This makes it a potent tool for starting fires, as demonstrated during its use in bombing raids like those on Japanese cities. The M47 bomb, detailed in a 1946 document from the National Defense Research Committee, contains napalm that spreads up to 75 feet from the explosion site. Even 10 minutes after detonation, 50 pounds of napalm gel can still be burning. Military bombers like the B-17 can carry 42 M-47 bombs, while larger B-24 bombers can carry up to 52. Dropping these bombs with a spacing of 140 feet, a B-17 could create a continuous fire line around 1.1 miles long and 150 feet wide. However, using incendiary bombs on the Black Forest would require careful consideration of operational factors to ensure effectiveness. While partial forest destruction might be seen as a beneficial outcome, it's crucial to note that the forest industrial importance to Germany's war effort is minimal. Intelligence reports indicate there are no significant military installations within the forest and conditions would need to be ideal for an uncontrolled fire to spread. Ultimately, any decision to bomb the Black Forest would have long-lasting environmental consequences and would need to weigh the ethical and strategic implications carefully. The forest holds cultural significance and is a valuable natural resource for Germany, despite its wartime uses. After World War II, there was consideration among military leaders about the strategic value of burning down Germany's Black Forest. On March 23rd, a response memo from the Joint Chiefs of Staff suggested that while the forest held low war potential targets, it could serve as a morale-focused objective unless complete destruction was ensured. They believed only a few planes would be needed, given the forest's visibility and accessibility from bases in Great Britain and Italy. The proposal involved using M47 incendiary bombs with proximity fuses, which could control the bomb's ignition to a specific height above the ground, ideal for starting uncontrollable fires in the forest canopy. Despite initial rejection, there was speculation that the plan might be revisited in the future, especially considering the potential impact on the Reich's resources over time. Historically, the forest's size and potential damage from such a fire were compared to significant historical wildfires, like the 1881 Michigan Thumb Fire and the 2020 California Complex Fire. The 1881 fire's ash reached as far as New England. The 2020 California Fire was the state's largest on record, underscoring the destructive capability of large-scale wildfires. The ethical and strategic considerations of implementing such a plan in wartime are profound. Ultimately, the decision not to pursue this plan further after the initial proposal reflects the complexities and moral dilemmas of wartime strategy and its long-term repercussions. The showed proposal to burn down Germany's Black Forest exemplifies the extraordinary measures utilized during World War II in order to hamper enemy operations. Although Operation Razzle did not succeed as anticipated, it is still a compelling narrative of creative strategy and determination. The Black Forest, unaffected by armed forces operations, is now recognized as a symbol of natural beauty and cultural legacy. This story about a creative but ultimately unsuccessful wartime plan serves as a reminder of the intricacies and long-term effects 
of military strategies on landscapes and cultures.